The next I got is this one. And it's so pretty. Um, honestly, the comic book shop that I got this one um, actually had the entire set. And I was like, you know what? Next time I go, I'm more than likely, I want to collect the set of this one. So I'll go back and get these. But I was so excited because this, this pop actually is vaulted already, if y'all know or don't know. But I was so excited because this one, I'm missing now one of the pops. I forgot the name of it. But if I find it, I'm gonna put insert the picture. The first comic book shop I went to actually had this one, but someone stomped on it, stepped on it, crushed it. Um, it was horrible. They crushed it, and and I was actually gonna buy it because I was like, I need it. I don't have it. It's vaulted. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have another chance to find it again. So I was like, ah, oh, I was gonna get it, but thankfully, <laughs> thankfully. I didn't get it so I went to a different shop and they had it which I'm like oh thank you so much thank you so much but yeah it's all pretty then the next thing I got was bombshell stickers of poison ivy of course which I'm thinking I might put them on my car I might might not I don't know because it looks like I mean it says um, I mean, it's collectors. I mean, it has a little PX exclusive stuff, and I did. I paid four ninety five for it, which I really, really like. And I don't feel like really using it. I I'll probably pin it on the wall from this little hole just to have it. Honestly, I want to put it on my car, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I can find another one, then I'll actually put it on my car. But if I can't, then because there, there was only one, so. If I could find another one, then I'll put it on my car. But if not, then I'll just leave it. Another thing I found, which I'm excited about, is I want to carry uh, reusable bags instead of getting bags from um, stores and stuff. So I know I have these bags, but this is before I bought this. So I want to start using this. And I'm so excited because it's so cute. And I don't know where the tag went, but there's a little tag on it. So here's the Toto. And it's a reusable bag. It has like the little thing here and it's like a little button in the middle. And then this is the first time I'm opening it because even had, I don't know what happened to the tag. I think it's still in the bag, but um, I haven't even seen how big it is, which I hope is pretty big. But I haven't seen how big it is. Oh, it's a pretty good thing. That's pretty big. So here's the reusable bag. And even comes with, I guess if you fill it up and stuff, it comes with a, a little button to, to close it, like a little clasp. And then when you roll it up, when you roll it up, you could like clasp it again and then put it into this little tiny bag. So then I'll just put this in my purse and when I'm at a store or a grocery store or anything, I could just tell them, hey, can you put it in this bag or I'll just put it myself because I've, I've been going to a lot of stores or grocery stores that you actually actually had to bag your own stuff so I was just don't bag it just put it in the cart or actually bring a little um it was like a little basket that you like push flat and it becomes it like a flat I showed y'all before but um if not then it's in my car but um basically um I have a basket in my car that when I go grocery shopping to like Aldi's or something I actually put that in the basket so whenever they ring it up I'm sorting it and arranging it in there and then I wanted a bag because there's stuff like drinks or whatnot that I don't want to crush like produce or dairy or whatever like eggs or bread or whatever I would rather have that in the basket and then drinks in here or something or the fruit in here or something I don't know so we'll see I'm excited because I've been looking for some and it was pretty cheap I paid um, I think it was four dollars four dollars for this bag which I'm pretty excited about because I've looked up this bag well this brand or whatnot or what have you um let me see yeah I paid 4 dollars for it but I looked up this brand of the 
of the character and everything's really expensive. I don't know because maybe the character itself, but it was expensive and I was like, uh, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. And when I saw it there, because I've never been to that comic book shop, which I was excited to actually go because they had so much stuff. Um, I don't know how to close this thing, but um, I'll figure it out. I couldn't close it. Like, I'm trying to make it as small as I can. That's why I'm all like fidgeting because I'm like trying to put it back, but I'll put it back later. Um, basically, when I bought it, I saw other stuff. They had more, like, they had like wallets and other stuff like this, backpacks and a lot of stuff. And I was like, I'm for sure going back to that one because I usually go to this comic book shop called Bedrock City and I didn't know that there's a lot of them here in Houston. I thought there was just one. And I went to one further than that one, and I love it. It's big, so much stuff. So I highly recommend it if you're in Houston. Find the comic book store called Bedrock City. Not the one in 1960. I mean, that one's good too. Don't get me wrong. That one's perfect. But that other one that I went to, I think it's one Westheimer. It was huge. It had a lot of stuff, like endless stuff. And I think that's the second time that I recorded at a comic book where y'all saw more of the statues. That's, that was the Bedrock City. So, then the other thing I bought was this little Ninja Turtle that was really cheap too. It was $6.99. And he's a little, you know, Michelangelo. I'm gonna put this with his gift. Cause I bought him some tickets to a concert and I bought him that pop, the, the Michelangelo pop. And now this one, and it's so cute. This is adorable. He is so soft. So this is gonna be part of his gift. So the two, and then I bought him some tickets for some show that he wanted to go to. And then, I hear something else. The other thing is this Toro. And it goes on phones. You see the little phone loop thing. But I honestly, um, on my camera right now, I have a, a small charm of, um, I, don't, I can't show you yeah. but I have a charm on the actual camera that's from um, Sailor Moon. So I was thinking here, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I know I'm going to put it somewhere because it is so adorable. And it was a dollar and it's the most adorable thing and it's like really, really detailed. It's so cute. I don't know if you can really see it. If not, I'll zoom in and put it in there. But it's so adorable and I think I might actually put this on my phone. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it because it's so cute. And my cats are like going crazy because they hear it. So I think that's it. As far as the comic books, I think that's it. And then from there, I went to Toys R Us. And I hope I'm not making this video so long or super long or super boring. But I'm almost done, I promise. Okay, so the next thing I got from... The next thing I, I got and it was at Toys R Us was this little Spider-Man thing. This little mystery packet that a few of them have one out of six, one out of 12. And I'm pretty excited. I'm not gonna open it today because this is for my nephew. So I'll open it tomorrow and I'll record it because he, he loves, loves, loves um, Spider-Man. So hopefully that works out. And he's super excited about it because also I got him, um, I got him a few things because I was gonna give him the car but then I found out that the car is a collectible, like it's really collectible. I'm gonna give them this. Basically, I'm gonna give them this. And at Toys R Us, they had like 50% off of all of the stuff from Easter. You know how Toys R Us is closing. So I saw this and I was like, oh, that's cute. Cause usually when I would go over there and get them like stuff that had tattoos right away, he's like, oh, put them on me. I put them on him on Friday since he will be off for the weekend. So if they rub off or come off, that's fine. I don't want him to have to wear them to school and then they tell him something. So I think he'll be pretty excited about that. Also, I saw this because they have a lot of things on sale right now. Um, this little little sprouts thing that's um, Cabbage Patch Kid Little Sprouts Collectible Friends Inside. I don't know if you can see it or really, I don't know. But um, I thought it was pretty cute. I think I'm gonna give this to my niece. Hopefully I swing by there on Friday Tomorrow Friday. I don't know what day I'm gonna go, but I got three of these one for each of them So hopefully I come by and I could give one them because she has three daughters So I'm gonna give each 
one of them, one of these, and see what comes out. Maybe they get the same thing. Maybe they don't, but I thought it was pretty cute. And last but not least is this book called The Five Little Ghosts. And the reason I got this book is that Harley is really into books right now. So I thought I wanted to look for another book, but something relatable to like going to sleep or something. So I found this book and it's so cute because my favorite holiday is Halloween. So he knows who's going to come from and I can't wait to take it to him tomorrow so I can read it to him. And I think it'll be pretty exciting. So other than that, the last thing is Play-Doh. I love Play-Doh. I don't know why. I love the smell of it. And it was like, I don't know how much it cost, but since I said everything was like on sale, I'm confused. Um, I got this for free. I got this for free and one, two, and the little things, the, these little things. I got the this for free and the Play-Doh. I got three of the little, little cabbage patch things and then this for free. I'm like, I don't even know how much I paid. I didn't pay nothing. So they gave it to me for free. But um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was probably long, probably 20 minutes long, but I'm gonna have to chop it up like always. I hope y'all did enjoy right now. I'm just waiting for him to get home, probably eat something. And I don't know, we'll see if we end up doing something. If not, if not, <laughs> oh my gosh, Summer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna do this quickly because Summer is knocking and playing with the tripod because the bottom of the tripod has grips. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, real quick, because that's already four times that Summer knocked, like trying to knock the tripod over. So, really quick, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And like I said, if he comes and we eat or hang out or whatnot, we don't really do much. I'm just here, I'm signing off. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe and comment. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications on letting you know when I upload my next video. And if, like I said, you all enjoyed it, comment below and let me know what y'all think of the, the overall haul that I brought today. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. So if wherever you are, have a good night, good morning, or good afternoon. I'll see y'all tomorrow.